questions. Um, they also talked about things like bullfrogs and tote bags as being more indicative of the South or associated with the South. Um, after identifying these words that were considered to be Southern, I decided to look at two different things. Uh, first, because these words were only mentioned by a few people as being uh, from one area of the country, in this case the South, I decided to look in the entire corpus and see if people actually did use these words, uh, even though these people said they were Southern. Um, so I looked at all the informants, how I used them, and I'll talk about that in a minute. And the other thing I did was check with uh, uh, Lags, Dare, and Long to see if they could sort of back this idea up that these words were Southern, and just a way of sort of checking out these people's characterizations of them and seeing how accurate they were. As far as the distribution of the lexical items in the corpus, um, nearly all of those that people said were, were Southern were seldom used by uh, their informants unless they were actually commenting on them as being Southern word. There were a couple exceptions. Uh, one is about half the informants were familiar with and used the term bullfrog, even though a couple said they suspected they weren't using it right. And one of them, I, I think, said to me, well, yeah, we have bullfrogs here, but they're not like you have in Georgia. They're not like those. So they, they thought they might have been talking about something different. Um, but um, I have this great picture of this bullfrog I saw about, about 50 yards down on the paved road. And uh, i got to tell you, it looked like a bullfrog to me. And I, if you want to see the picture later, right, you know, I want you to look at it. Uh, even during the drought that they experienced up until maybe last year, it was uh, still uh, bullfrogs jumping around there. Um, others talked about chiggers as being found in the area. Most of these people were in the plains portion of the state. And four of the, of the informants said that they would use the word tote for carry. So uh, some people have mentioned that that would be more of a southern word, uh, notably Texas. And a few people said that they were comfortable in using that word. Uh, each of the rest of the terms, though, were only used by at most two people in the corpus. So, uh, those words that they said, people said were Southern, didn't occur in the corpus, so that gives them some support. Uh, then I looked at uh, uh, the results of the variationist literature. I looked at them word by word. I looked at, for instance, kinfolk in Dare, and it mentioned that it was widespread, but chiefly South, uh, South Midland and, and Texas. Uh, that was in Dare. And then I checked on lags, and they, they mentioned that uh, 25, about 25% of the sample used kinfolks. Uh, the long results indicated that uh, older people used uh, kinsfolk and kinsmen, but it was pretty much dying out, and anybody who had any college, for instance, in long did use them. Uh, it wasn't important to use those words. Um, home uh, for cornbread was, um, um, according to Dare, that was originally chiefly southern, uh, somewhat in Midland. And, but then he, he said it was widespread except New England. Um, and then Lags reported about 30% of its informants used poems. So both those were, were pretty, uh, pretty big in the South and not much elsewhere, although both of these were mentioned to be uh, widespread to some degree. Uh, Alan doesn't, excuse me, back that one up either. Uh, he doesn't report on it at all any long. So uh, he mentions Johnny Cake and Cornbread, but nothing about like poems. Uh, South in South um, uh, lag reported it as being uh, over half the informants using the formula. Um, Allen noted it, um, but noted that most people used, were more comfortable with the term head chief. Um, and then Sugan um, lags reports only one instance of it. In fact, uh, Lee Pedersen in his 2001 paper uh, talks about it being a word pretty common from Texas to the Dakotas. Sycamore uh, lag reports over half of its informants using it. Allen doesn't mention it all in the long records. And tote lag reports nearly half of its informants using it to mean carrier hall. Um, and Allen doesn't mention it uh, at all. And then the phrase fur, uh, far piece, also pronounced fur piece, is mentioned in Dare as scattered but chiefly south, south Midland. Um, and they mentioned the, the variation of fur piece. And that was actually mentioned in the interview uh, where the person sort of did that. It's like, oh, far piece. You mean far piece? So there was some sort of commentary on that at the phonological level that I'll go into in the paper. Uh, parts of the South that were mentioned, uh, so a lot of people said, well, these terms are part of the South. Other people would say, 
a specific place such as Georgia or Texas. Uh, both those places were mentioned as a place where chiggers are. They're not around here, but they're in Georgia or Texas, places like that. Uh, Texas also was uh, associated with tote bag. Um, Lags finds that rare, uh, but tow sack, uh, so the difference between tote bag and tow sack is noted there. Um, Alan only mentions tote in conjunction with hauling and lugging, so he doesn't mention uh, for, for that, and, uh, and then there was Mesquite, which was uh, mentioned as chiefly southwest, especially Texas, according to Dare, and then Lag reports, 35 instances of it, a majority of them being in Texas. Uh, so these words are pretty close to uh, the words that the, the informants mention do have an association in literature with uh, the South, and uh, at least in the Dare and the Lag's findings, and they're not found very often in the uh, Alex of the Upper Midwest at all. So that was pretty good back in. Uh, one word that uh, definitely isn't uh, associated with the South and literature is smear case. Lag only found uh, like nine instances of it. And Allen, Allen did find it in the Upper Midwest, so there wasn't much corroboration there. Um, all right. And the, um, there was, there does seem to be some confusion as far as uh, chiggers in the literature and in my, uh, that, that might be reflected in the corpus. Um, there's apparently two different kinds. One of them is common in the, in the South and one of them is more widespread. Um, and they're both, uh, so that there's no way of seeing what they are actually referring to exactly in the corpus. So we have to, we're looking at that a little more. Yeah.